Today we're going to flash my 2017 Golf Sport Wagon using open source tools. We're going to start by opening the VW Flash GUI. We're going to go to Full Flash and click Open Folder. I'm going to select the Loaders folder. And in here I've got multiple files that we're going to flash. Um, we're going to start by flashing the Unlock. That will get the ECU into a state where we can flash an actual um, other calibration files to it, and then we're going to flash the custom software. So we'll make sure the key is on. First, we will run get ECU info to make sure that we can actually communicate with the ECU. And that looks good. Um, it'll show various information about the vehicle. Um, ECU box code would be, or this is the hardware part number, box code is right here. Um, your long coding should be included in here too, in case you need to back that up. Um, and then again, this just makes sure that the communication is working with the interface. So we're going to click unlock again, and we'll click flash. And this process will take uh, anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes um, for the unlock, and then after the unlock, we'll flash the actual file. It's going to go through a process of extracting the zip, it will compress all of the blocks before it flashes them. And then what it's going to do is one by one, it's going to delete all of the data on each block. It'll flash the data to it, verify that it's good, and then go on to the next one. All right, now that we see that the flash is done, we are going to key cycle and start. Don't start the car, it won't start now. And now we're going to go and flash the actual software that we want to use on the car. Okay, once the flash process is completed, it's probably a good idea to make sure we can start the car. We're gonna key cycle it before we do. There you go. Once you've verified that the car starts and runs, you can click Start Logger. First, we're gonna select the folder that we want to use for the logger. And we're going to click Start Logger. To start the actual logging, you would enable the cruise control on the vehicle. and you can turn it back off to stop logging. So once you've had an opportunity to road test the vehicle and get some logs, we can close the GUI and we can open the, the logging directory that you chose before. And in that directory, you'll see, um, you'll see a CSV log from every time you enabled the cruise control. So we can open this one in Megalog Viewer. And this particular log is really just me showing idle. But you can see, as the vehicle is warming up, we've got different parameters available to us. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. I will do follow-up videos for setting up the logger using Megalog Viewer 
and using Tuner Pro so we can actually modify the calibrations and reflash them using the VW Flash GUI and make changes to the car.